Greetings, everyone. Wolf here with another episode of 1.14 Minecraft. Meow. And here we are on top of the creeper farm that's connected to our skeleton bridge. And we're going to finish up the last phase of this dungeon spawner build. And that's to connect the creeper farm and the skeleton bridge together so we can start working on collecting our records and eventually start using it to get our skulls. Let's do this. Here we are on the overbridge between the two farms. And the first thing I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to start poking a bunch of holes in this temporary platform to get the redstone components in place that's going to allow me to corral these mobs into the locations where I want them, when I want them. So we're going to start over here at the creeper farm. And the first block I want to want to replace is the second block over from our hole into the farm. So that block right there. And we're going to use a sticky piston in its place, and we're going to set it so it faces this way to push this block into place here. Take a lever and place it right there. And there you go. That's where we want that block to be. And the reason we're going to do that is because this block in front of this, we're going to switch out for a dispenser block facing upwards. Like so. And in that will be a buck out of water, of course. Now, to get that to activate, we're going to use a button. And I'm going to place that button over here. So we're going to come over two blocks and down one block, or up, depending on which way you want to call it, and place your button down. So let's get underneath real quick and get the uh, redstone component in here so that it'll activate that dispenser. All right, now we're underneath the platform. Here's where the dispenser is located. So we're going to want to take a, a temporary block and place it right there. That's going to be the block that's going to allow us to power that dispenser through the button. So what we need to do is then take that signal from the button, which is going to be in one, two, and in here, which is right above where this block is located. Uh, let's get up here real quick. And what we're going to do is we're going to take redstone dust and put it in this L shape so that it's underneath the button, which is right there. It's going to power this little string and then power this block, which will both power the dispenser to either send out the water or retract the water. Let's check out that component. Here we are on top now. And uh, I have these temporary blocks here to prevent the water from flowing over. So we got our block in place to uh, keep the water from back flowing into the farm. And we push the button, and then the dispenser dispenses the water. And of course that then will flow in the tunnel direction. Push it again, it takes the water out. Simple as that, guys. Alright, next up we need to get the skeletons in place. So we need to make changes to our hallway right here. So I need to put a temporary block in place here so we can get to work. All right, what we need to do is we need to remove this block right here and we need to remove the block underneath this glass one right there because we're going to use sticky pistons to move these blocks in and out of place as we need them. So we're going to put a sticky piston here underneath this floor block and we're going to stick the piston right here under this glass block. And what will happen is, when we want to farm our skeletons, we're going to leave this one so this one is down and this glass block is up, therefore allowing this water stream to flow down to our drop chute. When we want to switch them, though, this block will come up into place and the glass block will be pulled down and the water flow will go into this little L section, pushing the skeleton down our tunnel system that will be right here. All right, let's get underneath and uh, get the redstone in place for this. And here are those two sticky pistons that we put in place. And now we have to set up a system so that the sticky pistons remain powered when we want them to be powered. So what I'm going to do is, underneath the uh, second piston, which is in the extended hallway here, we're going to put a block below that. And on top of that block, we're going to put a redstone torch. Now that activates that piston. And then what I'm going to want to do is, I'm going to put a uh, torch on the side of this block here, and then I'm going to put a block on top of that torch, in front of that one. And I'm going to put another one right here to activate and deactivate that piston. Good, right? Next, we're going to use, oh, let's use a temporary block right now. And then we're going to have a uh, stair coming up. So uh, this is going to be the redstone component that's going to activate and deactivate these redstone torches to either push or pull these pistons. So we're going to put a block right here. Let's put a temporary block right here. And then we're going to stair up until we get into position. 
me just check my notes real quick. And I got to come back up. Exactly. Good. So, that's the temporary block on there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do like this little L section right here into that spot there. Alrighty. And that's going to allow us to put a redstone line from here down into here. And there will be a lever that's going to be above this block right here. Take that block out so we know exactly where it's going to be on the floor. We take all this temporary box out. And then let's go back up top and then see the system in working order. And here we are back up top, guys. All right, let's um, get that back block back into place. Here's that line that we had. So we're going to put that back. And we're going to take a lever and put it right here on the floor. And now watch what happens. These two blocks are going to switch places. Simple as that. And then when we want to switch it back, we just simply turn the system back off and allows the water to flow in the proper direction. Good. Now that we have the farms changed over so we can actually control the mobs, we actually need to build the hallway that's going to connect them, where we're going to collect our goodies. So, as you've seen from the beginning of the episode, I had this hole here which is four blocks out from the wall. All right, so we got one, two, three, four, and then, of course, this hole right here. What this is, is this is where we're going to put the skeleton that's going to shoot the creepers for us. And um, when we shift this around, the water will come from here and push the creeper this way to keep them away from us, but keep them in enough distance that uh, they'll, they'll focus on us and won't explode or anything like that, but the skeleton will shoot him in our place. So, what we need to do is we need to get the platform out. So, from here, we're going to go one, two, three, three blocks out. That's where the uh, water source will go for eight blocks. Then, we're going to go another three blocks one, two, and three, which we're going to actually put uh, spacers here so that the creeper and the skeleton don't physically come in contact with each other and cause the skeleton to blow up once he shoots him. And then, this is where the skeleton will stand, and of course, one more for his walls. Now, to help control this, we have to put in a couple more pistons. So the block that's right here in the wall has to go. The block adjacent has to go. As you can see, I already got some dirt put down for the uh, sticky pistons I'm going to put in place. And then you've seen these torches up here. The water sources, uh, when they come down, are eight blocks. So from there, all the way down to here, to this block, is eight for that one. From the dispenser all the way down straight to this torch is a block. So the two will actually meet right here at this midline between these two blocks. The block right next to this one we're going to want to take out. And in those places we're going to want to take the remaining three sticky pistons we have and put them in place. And of course then we can cover back up the floor. Alright, now let's get underneath and get the redstone in uh, place. And now that we're underneath the floor where we put the sticky pistons into place, we're going to build the circuit for these blocks, which is right here. It's going to be a little more compact design than the one we built for the skeleton farm. So what we're going to do is we're going to identify the first sticky piston that's in the long hallway that joins the two farms together. And we're going to place our junk blocks, one, two, from the piston. Then we're going to come over to the side and go down one block, place two blocks. Come back up one to where the other piston is located and place a block, just like so. Then we're going to take a repeater and face it into this sticky piston. Redstone dust on the block next to it and on the two blocks below it so it goes into this one right here. And then on the face of that block we're going to take a redstone torch which is going to activate this piston. And then above we're going to put a lever here which will switch these blocks. It'll power this redstone dust which will activate that piston, this line into that block which will deactivate the torch and lower that piston. So let's get up top and test that. All right, now here we are back up top. And where that circuit begins, it's going to be where the hallway down towards the skeleton will be placed. So right here, there's the hallway. That's where the wall will be. So the lever will have to go right here. And when we activate it, these two blocks will switch out, just like so. Easy enough. Then while I was underneath, the other piston we put into place here, which is right there, I put in two more blocks and redstone on top of them so that we can put a, a lever here and that'll activate this block right here. 
Okay, I did that ahead of time because we really didn't need to cover that on the video. But what I want to do is right here, underneath the torches, that two, those two blocks and this one block right here. I want to take out because what we're going to do is we're going to put in this barrel. All right, and then we're going to take these hoppers and face them into that barrel. And what that's going to do is, is when uh, we get around to be able to collect skulls from the creepers and skeletons, they're going to fall into these hoppers and then eventually go into that barrel. The record collection will be along this pathway right here. So let's get the hallway now in place. Now that we have this all here, let's start building this up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to come out one, two blocks here, leave this space open. And on the opposite side, we're going to come out one, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to use an upside down stair so I have access to that barrel. And then finish off one, two, three, four, like just like so. All right. You can use glass here if you want, you know, personal choice. And then I'm going to put my glass up here until I reach this section right here. I'm going to leave that one blank. I'm going to leave this two gap here. And then, of course, I'm going to put my two pieces right there. And then I'm going to take these trapdoors, oak trapdoors. I'm going to place one here against that wall there. All right. Then I'm going to place one right here on the ceiling where we can turn it down. Okay. So, simple as that. Now, when we activate that bucket of water, let's get that in place. What happens is that water flows all the way down here. This prevents that water from flowing out of this hole here and goes all the way over to that piston. Okay, and then if we switch this block, notice what happens. That water goes down. This water turns over this way. It comes over to the last hopper. And the two hoppers meet together, and that's where the two mobs will meet when uh, we get them together. All right, let me get this... Uh, walls built here so we can get the skeleton up here and into place all right the room is set up i have a skeleton trap so let's see if we can do this without dying so the first thing i need to do is i have to take out this block temporarily close that up so he doesn't get out there as you can tell i had another one up here so i killed the second one that had the boots on him. and then i need to go and bring him down here and trap him and hopefully he doesn't switch back. So this is probably going to hurt a little bit. Okay, he saw us. Come on. Ooh, ouch. Okay, let's get that block into place. Come on. Ooh, ooh. Don't hit me off. Come on. Come on down. Come on. Come on down. This is fun. <laughs> there we go. Oh, good. We got him there. Oh, good. He's down far enough, hopefully. Now let's see if I can get him. Yep, he's trapped. And then if I put you here... Then I can take this block out here, and then what I can do is, I can name him. We're going to call him the Record Guy. We got him. He's named. And let's see if I can give him this helmet, which I actually got out of the farm. Alright, ready? Without shooting me, hopefully. Is he going to put it on? Did he pick it up? He may not have gotten it. I may have thrown it too far. Let's check. He may not want the helmet. Let's try it again, see if we can get him to take it. He, he doesn't really need it because I'm going to have him cover, but I'd like to see if he take it. No, I guess he's not going to take it. Alright, that's fine. He's named, and I have him covered, and hopefully there's going to be enough slots here to prevent him from running up in the sunlight. So let's get him all blocked in, covered up. There we go. All right, let's go back inside. All right, now that we're back up top, and I have a creeper trapped inside the farm, let's get this set up so I can show you how this is going to function. All right, so the first thing I'm going to want to do is prevent him from shooting me, so I'm going to put a block right there. And then I'm going to put two more blocks here, so there's three blocks between us. That puts us right here. And I've already put a barrel underneath where this dirt block is located, so I can put that hopper into the barrel. 
All right. So then I'm going to take this block out, come back out here, put our block back here, and then put the work on. <laughs> Getting hit. <laughs> okay, so we got that block back into place. Let's switch these guys out, like so. Okay. And then let's see about getting us a creeper. Uh, oh, you know what I did forget though? <laughs> Derby me. Uh, there you are. Let's get that into place. That's going to go there. That's a pressure plate that'll close this when I come back through. Okay. All right. So let's get this into place. And he's ready to go. So let's do this. Oh, I got three in here. I only need one, guys. I only need one to see me. Come on. I got four in there. Actually, there's three in that corner and one in this corner. I only need one to see me. All right. I got one, two, three, four, five in the farm. <laughs> okay, I just need one to see me. Don't let me fall in the farm. Come on, come on, come on. See me already. That's This is the dangerous part of the farm. Come on, you. Can you see me? Come on. <laughs> uh, I don't really want to blow this up and lose my cat. Believe it or not, this does work, guys. Do you see me? It, Jeez, their fear is actually worse than seeing me. He see this one sees me. He wants to do something, but the cat gets in the way. Wow. No, 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 no. Huh? I, I believe it or not, guys, when I've built this farm before, I've never had this problem. Interesting. Usually they pathfind right to me without an issue. <laughs> Come on. What if I open up one more. Interesting. I've never had to worry about this problem before. Go. There it is. No, 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 no. Okay. Now let's close that and leave. so we lock him in. Get the water flowing. So he gets into place. Sorry about the little glitchiness there. And then we'll open this up. And of course, he'll start shooting. Come on. There's one hit. And see, now he gets pushed, but the water pushes him back. So he doesn't get anywhere close to me so he can blow up. And the skeleton is terrible at shooting because he wants to shoot over him. I'll, I'm crouching right now to get him to shoot a little bit lower. And there it is. Alright, so let's get the water out of here. Let me get ready to... And actually, I have to go underneath. I just want to close that up. Okay. I'm going to close this back up. Ooh, sorry about the phone, guys. I apologize. Okay. Let's get underneath and see what we have here. Real quick. Oh, and it's nighttime, too. Mm -hmm. Normally, I uh, fight and work through the nights, guys. But for video recording, I usually try to get rid of the nights. And we got our first record, which happens to be... Chirp. There we go. And there it is. That's the farm working, guys. All right, let's get back up top so we don't find anything we don't want to have up here. Okay, back up top. Now, that's how the record farm is going to work. Um, a little tricky to get the <laughs> guys past the thing, but that's all right. You just have to work out a little bit, and then uh, we'll get it. And then what will happen is, is uh, once I have a um, trident... I have a book for channeling and um, loyalty that I can put on it 
and then of course I'll have to get mending eventually and um, breaking. And then during the thunderstorms, what I'll do is I'll have a hole in here, and I'll strike the uh, creeper to get them charged, and I'll bring up the skeletons, and of course that is how we will get the skulls. And that's it. That's the whole farm put together, guys. So we're now finally done with all three phases of the skeleton spawner farm system. All right, guys. So, as always, thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting. Y'all take care now. Bye. You can't get me.